probably one of the most universal Omega watches out there is the Seamaster Aquaterra. This is my first look at the small seconds, obviously because there is a small seconds right here at the six o'clock. Also incorporated into that is the date. Very balanced dial, very good looking watch. Many different colorways and options in this lineup. Also sizes. You can get different sizes in the Aquaterra lineup, I think even for the small seconds, if I'm not mistaken. Here, big thanks to Exquisite Timepieces, Naples, Florida. Link in the description. Big thanks to John. I'll put a direct link to his contact information down below. Tell him I sent you. Big thanks to John and the crew at Exquisite Timepieces for sending over this two-tone variant of the Aquaterra small seconds. This has elements of 18 karat Sedna gold. That's Omega's rose gold. It's very proprietary and very like much their own thing. No other company really matches the same color. So you can see clearly there it's on the bezel, the center link, the hands, the markers, the Omega badging, and the crown. Really adding complexity, dimension, and, you know, more luxury. You know, when you add gold into your timepiece, then you're def definitely <laughs> elevating your luxury purchase. And that is definitely the case here. Excellent strap option for this thing as well. Very comfortable on wrist. No need to put a bracelet on this guy. So I measure the case at 40.9, 41 millimeter. This is the 41 millimeter variant. The lug to lug is 47.7. The thickness is 13.5, but that's including that double dome sapphire crystal, which has AR coating top and bottom. 20 millimeter lug width, if for some reason you wanted to change out the color of the strap. I don't know why you would. This color complements the dial perfectly. And you have a 6.4 millimeter screw down crown. Yes, I know it's not screwed down. I'm going to show you something here in a moment. 150 meter water resist inside easily viewed through the display case back is the Omega Master Coaxial Master Chronometer Metas certified 8916 automatic movement twin barrels 60 hour power reserve 38 jewels they're going to run out of jewels man I'm telling you Omega's using all the jewels and the price point on this thing is, you know, roughly 10000 So really not a ton more than the non-two-tone, the, just the full stainless steel Aquateras are really only like a few grand less. So if you're already ponying up for the Aquaterra, maybe consider a two-tone. Now, if you want to go to the full gold, yeah, they have them. They have the full gold ones. And maybe one day I'll have them on the channel. It, uh, yeah, it jumps up there a little bit, but I mean, it's full gold. It better be fairly expensive. That's just the way it works. Love the liar lugs. Probably one of the defining features of Omega that I absolutely love that on top of the fact that they use coaxial movements and many of them are Metas certified. Very solid watches. This movement also incorporates the jumping hours so when you come out one position which i gotta say too the crown action on this thing is spectacular super solid no play no wiggle but you have the traveling jumping hour so you don't need a gmt all the time when you're traveling right maybe you don't really care what time zone you left from another time and uh, you're really only concerned with the uh, time zone you're in or maybe you'd never travel in really all you're adjusting is for daylight savings time. Either way, you're covered. That is also how you change the date. So to screw this crown down, very easy to do. Just push in a little bit while tightening it down and it threads right in, keeping that 150 meter water resist. Beautiful watch, stunning. Okay, let's pop this on my seven and a quarter inch wrist so you can see what that looks like. 
the inventory of Omega at exquisite timepieces is um, expansive. They have many watches in many different colorways and configurations. They also are authorized dealer for 60 brands or more. I know they've, they're constantly adding. They're probably over 60 at this point. And then they have a massive collection of pre-owned watches so you could save a little bit of money or potentially just have the availability of certain watches that are often very difficult to find. And it's not really about saving money at that point. It's about obtaining those pieces and they have pretty much the full range of everything. Now I've owned an Aquaterra in the past and I did pick it up from Exquisite. I picked it up from Nick at the time, but, um, and I absolutely loved it. So I could see moving back into an Aquaterra at some point. It's a very good everyday watch. You get so, you know, captivated by all the dive watches out there. You know, this channel and a lot of the people I hang out with are very much focused or prefer the dive watches. It's nice to have some elegant watches. I wouldn't call this a field watch necessarily, but this is definitely an everyday type wear watch. All right, let's give this a quick blast with the UV light. Let's kill the studio lights and check the loom on this thing. If you're interested in this, any other Omega or any other watches from Exquisite Timepieces, hit up Johnny, tell him I sent you. I'll see you guys on the next bit.